brave caster fell dying to the ground, but Ardeth did not live long to rejoice in his treachery. For Zeus hurled down a thunderbolt from Olympus and blotted him from the face of the earth. In desperate sorrow, Polydeuces bent over his dying brother, and when he saw there was no hope for him, he prayed, Follow Zeus, immortal son of Kronos. When, O oh when, will there come a release from this sorrow? Let me die also, king of life and death. Let me not survive my beloved brother. Zeus, deeply moved, spoke out of the thunder cloud in which he had drawn nigh. My son, I had thought to make you immortal, to be a guide to men at sea in times of trouble. Do you now prefer death and the dim land of Hades where your brother must drown rather than immortality with a seat at the heavenly banquet on Olympus? There you were to sit between Athena and Ares, while dainty Hebe served you with the food and wine of the immortals. But Polydeuces answered, If Castor cannot share it with me, then I would rather renounce the banquet of the immortals and wander in the shadowy realm where Hades is king. Then said Zeus, For this great love of yours, I decree that both of you shall sit on Olympus and go forth to do my bidding on the deep. But Hades cannot be deprived of his due, so day and day about, you must be as the dead in the world of shadows, and day and day about you may tread the sky with us, the immortals.